Who's here, please? TC or uh, Coach Narduzzi said that Kenny was a game time decision on whether or not he would play. What was the rapport like throughout week, uh, throughout the week with uh, Nick and you know him taking a lot of those snaps? I mean, you know the way that college football goes, always Nick's man, and we get a lot of reps. We you know with the twos and Nick Patty. Uh, you know, it's just like it has to be a well-oiled machine. You know, and we get a lot of reps. So when we found out during you know the game, it wasn't just like ah oh, damn. It was just like all right, we know we have a leader that's gonna come in and be able to uh, get us to pull out the win, no matter how ugly you know it was. When did you find out? Was it before or after you got on the bus to get us here? Uh, it was actually when we got here. You know, Kenny was warming up and stuff. He just did a field on his head. You know, he should have been So me and Coach told him, Nick, it was, it was time to play. And, you know, he showed up. What was, what was the mindset like when you guys were down in the fourth quarter? But, you know, I feel like I, us as a receiver, our group, you know, we're really detrimental to the team. You know, I feel like at any moment, any of us can make big plays. I mean, you seen it last week. Uh, Aaron Matthews, very talented, you know, Maurice French. Uh, so it's, like, I feel like, you know, our position, you know, we're really game changers. Uh, and I just feel like, you know, that us making that one play gets the momentum going. You know, it's a game of momentum. It's a game of, you know, inches, all of the things. So, yeah. What was it like when they called your number for the first play? Knowing you got a new quarterback in there and they go deep on the first first offensive play. Honestly, it's just an honor, you know, that they believe in me that much, you know, saying and say I tell you coming in right away. I mean, they feel like I have bigger uh, play capabilities and you know, I feel like I just wanna live up to everything, you know, uh, holding me too. I mean, uh, there was something that they said before the game, uh, we had a speaker and he said, you know, you don't have to tell a pit bull that he's a dog. If he's a dog, you know, act like a dog every day. So that's the mentality I kinda wanna just keep. You know, I feel like I'm a dog, so I'm gonna just try to go out there and show it every day. You showed it both in the first quarter and then yeah. in the fourth. I mean, how, how big was that to come through? for your team at the end of the game when you guys were trailing? Yeah, you know, it's all about the team. I mean, whatever role they need me to play on there, you know, I'll be able to play for them. Um, you know, when your number is called on, you really just got to, you know, produce. Uh, and that's, you know, that's why, you know, I really like them. Uh, these coaches staff, you know, new people that we brought in because, you know, they believe in us so much. They're okay with telling us, like, hey, we're coming to you, score, make a play, and we believe in it. And that just brought our confidence as a whole receiver group up. You know, we changed the way that uh, we was not seen, but the, you know the role that we played from last year to this year is a complete change, and you know we're just trying to live up to it. TC, what did you learn about the team today? Uh, we got heart. We got fight until it's over. You know, I respect our defense so much. We have great corners that's gonna go out there and make plays. Uh, and we're going to stick together as a team. It got rough, but we didn't have no negativity. You know, everybody was positive and told, you know, Patty, you had to, regardless, you know, through the interception. After I came over and I told him, I'm like, all right, it's over now. I look, you got it out to you. Look, you feel me? Drop your shoulders and let's play ball. Because at the end of the day, this is a game, no matter who you go against. Do you feel like the defense was carrying you guys for the better part of that game, though? Oh, no, yeah, they was. You know, they made a bunch of like, key stops, you know, in the backfield with Amir Watts, you know, Hobbler, he was, you know, and that's why I give it up to them because, you know, when one side is like the other side, you know, picks us up. And like I said, that's how the game of football is. You um, you have the two long catches today, and you've done that before in your time here. I mean, what's, I don't want to say the trick, but the secret. I mean, what, what what's the key to making those kind of like catches, contested catches down the field? Um, I mean, I in practice, you know, just try to put yourself in hard situations to catch the ball. So then when it happens in the game, it's kind of easy. Uh, we do a couple of drills where, you know, we have a defender on our back and we have to learn how to either throw him by over the top. You know, Coach Beatty is real good at, you know, helping us transition, you know, deep catches, short catches. And he's just about elevating our game just by the little things that he do and the attention to detail he has his work on. Where do you feel? Yeah. I was just going to say the touchdown catch. You kind of talk through that. Oh, man, I'll fight. I think that's the first touchdown here in Hinesfield. Uh, he called, called a play. He said, Tay, you know, you can get it. <laughs> so, I, I mean, I seen safeties rotate. A corner played outside leverage. So I widened him to get inside. We had a wrap route. He came inside. The safety tried to play it in the first hole. So I ran past him. Nick threw it into the second hole. He did a good job moving the safety with his eyes. Put the ball in there. So it was easy catch. What, what's it like to go through a week knowing yeah. that Kenny might not play and that, you know, going with the guy who's making his first start? Uh, honestly, that wasn't the case for us. You know, we sat here and was just on some. We believed Kenny was going to play. 
Uh, there really wasn't no doubt, and you know, we went through the week. We just, you know, play things air by air. We really don't, they really don't tell us too much. You know, they just want us to focus on the task at hand. So, you know, like I said, it was just next man up situation. And we believe in whoever's going to be out there.